Hey, it's your nerdy best friend here, and I'm going to show you how I put together what I call video postcards with Pick Play Post. So in the newsletter today, I have this video, which I did to demonstrate how you can demonstrate stuff and send little personalized pieces talking directly to a lead or a person explaining things. So I made three little videos just with my phone and then I downloaded some pictures. What Pick Play post is, post is, is these are all frames with pictures in them. So I can click on that and put on a photo, a GIF, video, what have you, or a slideshow. So I can do a photo, I did that one, there it is, I can move it around in there, I can actually change the size if I wanted to um, and play around with it. This is a video, so I can put a video in there. I had to do this several times, so there's a video. You just click on it. You can edit it at the bottom, right? So there we go. Um, the slideshow situation is kind of cool. You can do a slideshow and pick several pictures. Now, this one won't work for the one I'm doing right now, but you can do several pictures. And then when you do the slideshow, it's going to do them kind of big. I will do this right here and show you. I will preview. And so now it's going to be hey, Beth and DJ. going around Listen, and making the big really pictures cool and, and making a slideshow from there. Pick Play Post is all kinds unusual, of new technology really as well. Them. You can make kind of this video that... All right. We'll look up, make a video wall DJ, and slide to the next one and slide to the next one. I chose a basic collage for this one, this but you can play around with it. Pick Play Post for, is basically no. free for the um, basic version. I have, if, if you look here, you've got all of these layouts that you can do. So you can see you can put in a lot of different spots. You can also do premium. Now, I paid the extra $4.99 or whatever for <laughs> premium. And it has all these different ones. You got to watch, though, with the white space. Sometimes it gets kind of goofy. But you can change around the different sizes. You can change the layout. This one won't come out too well. Um, but then you'll have to move things around again. I could put my picture in the middle again and do it like that. Use. Um, it loads the video every time. Sometimes it gets a little confused and takes a little while to download. Sometimes you have to start it again um, if the file's too big. But you can make the files play sequentially. You can flip them. Um, you can see here the sequence of the playing, play them sequentially. You can also add music. You can add your own music or you can buy for a buck a piece their music. Or they have, um, they have some theme music that you can just throw in there for free. So there are all kinds of ways you can use this. And I use it all the time for little, like I said, I call them video postcards. But quick ways to add a little bit of interest to your social media marketing and your sales pushes.